Now we discuss the measurement for power absorbed by three-phase load. We need to point out that the load isn't supposed to be balanced here, and it can be general condition. Two power supply forms are three-phase four-line system and three-phase three-line system. Let's discuss three-phase four-line system firstly. In this condition, the load can be transformed into Y connection. The three impedance aren't necessarily the same. Because of the existence of the neutral line, we can measure the active power absorbed by every single phase respectively. According to the knowledge of the power meter in lecture 66, the connection of the measurement for three-phase four-line system can be like this. The three power meters measure the active power absorbed by phase A, B, and C respectively. But for three-phase three-line system, we cannot measure the power in one single phase. In order to measure the total power absorbed by the three phase, we have to change the connection. This is the connection of the measurement for total power absorbed by three phase three line system. It seems that the reading has no physical meaning, but why can it measure the total power absorbed by three phase? We have to derive it. Suppose the load is with this connection, the instantaneous power absorbed by three-phase load equals this. UA, UB, and UC are phase voltage of the three phases. By applying KCL on this node, we know IC equals minus IA minus IB. By substituting it into the equation, we can get this. This is the instantaneous power absorbed by three-phase load. In order to solve its average power, we should solve the average value of this expression in one period. From the simple derivation, we can get this. Phi 1 is a phase difference of UAC and IA, and Phi 2 and Phi 2 is a phase difference of UBC and IB. These are the expressions. From the expression, we know two parameters are needed. For one parameter, its voltage port is used to measure UAC and its current port is used to measure IA. Its reading is the first part of the power. For another parameter, its voltage port is used to measure UBC. Its current port is used to measure IB. Its reading is the second part of the power. The connection is based on this expression. The reading of W1 and W2 has no physical meaning, but their sum is the total power absorbed by three-phase load. Similarly, because IA equals minus IB minus IC, or IB equals minus IA minus IC, we also have two other connections. The first connection is called common C connection, the second connection is common A connection, and the third is common B connection. We need to point out that the load isn't necessarily to be balanced in the measurement for active power absorbed by three-phase four-line system and three-phase three-line system.